Milton Green is a photographer. For years, millions of us have seen his pictures on the covers of Look, Life, Vogue, and others. Milton, who is 33, his wife and their year-old son, live in this 150-year-old home in Western Connecticut. It's about an hour's drive from his studio in Manhattan. You know, Milty was my mentor. He was my best friend. Growing up around him, learning photography from him, learning how to print from him. When I decided to hang up my cameras and go into restoration, it was based on my love of my father. He died heartbroken over the fact that some of the best work that he ever did was never published, never seen, and could never be reproduced. When I was introduced to digital, I saw the opportunity to bring my father back to me and the pictures to the world. I feel it's important to capture these images as best as the technology will allow. Technology keeps changing, so sometimes we do it over and over again. There's only so many pictures that were done, 4,000 in the entire Milton Green Mountain Road collaboration. Let's work on all the ones that we possibly can. So what we've done is we go in and do a capture of like the eye, the lips, making sure we're maintaining highlight detail and shadow detail. So we're exporting from Flex Color, which is the software that comes with the scanner, into Photoshop. From beginning to end, it averages between 40 to 60 hours, depending on the image. Most of the cleanup is done pixel by pixel with the healing brush. That could take anywhere from 30 to 40 hours of work. What people don't really appreciate is how detailed this work is, and when you're really manipulating those pixels, you have to be careful not to create a digital scar. It's here you can see the condition of the film. This is embedded dirt on the surface of the film. Scratch there, scratches here, little things, but you see how it interferes with the hair? It's all in there. Rob has gone in and made a path, and then he feathers it based on the softness of the film. Once I have the mask, it allows me to then pick which color adjustment layer tools I'm going to use. Most of the time, it will be a choice between hue and saturation, curves, and selective color. Sometimes there'll be two to three adjustment layers with one mask. Other times there'll be as many as six. It's the face and the hair where getting the colors right require more control with the masks. So we'll probably pull seven proofs to just get a feeling of how it's printing and how it looks on the screen because you get so much more information on the screen than what you can really get out of the printer. But I need to see the prints big to really see the edges of the masks and how they blend and if there's a mistake that needs to be fixed. When I was 11 years old, my father put me in the dark room and taught me how to print. His method of approaching the image where he wanted things diffused or darkened or dodged and burned or controlled in such a way where you get the most out of the image. So the print will end up looking different than the finished original piece of film. That's what a fine art printer does. It brings another layer of expertise to making the print stand on its own. The original assignment from Look Magazine that brought Milton to photograph Marilyn was actually photographing a variety of up-and-coming stars in Hollywood. The Look editors presented Marilyn with Milton's portfolio. When she saw his photographs, she was very excited to work with him. They met in California and did the mandolin in the negligee sitting the first day. Upon seeing the film the next morning, Marilyn saw a part of herself in Milton's photography that was real. He'd never let a bad picture be seen by anybody if he took one, and she could trust that he was gonna protect her. And that's how their photographer-muse relationship was built. In the coming months, 
Milton would go back to California and photograph Marilyn. They would go to the wardrobe department at 20th Century Fox, put on some kind of fantasy outfit, and then go out and shoot in the back lots. Over a short period of time, you can see photographs of Marilyn playing dress up, whether she's a peasant, a gypsy, a hooker. There's a bit of whimsy and enjoyment in the collaboration the two of them had. They were having fun. It was make-believe. All Milton wanted to do was prove that she could be the character actress she wanted to be and build confidence. 